Hi everyone, today we're going to be using Canva to create a Bitmoji virtual room. Canva already has an amazing selection of graphics that you can use and it also allows you to share your virtual room in the form of a website. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. Open website. You can share this link with students and parents and then have them access any of the resources that you've linked within your virtual room. If you'd prefer to create your Bitmoji classroom using Google Slides instead, I do have a video tutorial about this and I'll leave that in the description box below. Now, before we can get started, make sure that you've downloaded the Bitmoji app on your phone and you've created your personalized emoji. The next thing that you need to have is the Google Chrome extension, which is this icon in the top right corner here, which allows you to copy and paste your Bitmoji into your virtual room. To install that into your browser, you just need to go to bitmoji.com and scroll all the way down to the bottom to click this button down here. Now you're ready to go into Canva to create your virtual room. Now Canva already has a couple of templates available for you to use. So let's first go ahead to take a look at these templates. Up in Bitmoji into the search bar. I have a teacher account on Canva, which allows me to use premium elements. If you're using a free personal account, you'll be able to follow all of these steps. You just might need to switch out a couple of elements for free elements or actually do a Google image search to find the images that you'd like to use. Here's the template. You can actually go and change anything inside of the template, including the text. You can change the color of certain graphics and you can actually move around any of these graphics as well. If you've changed your mind about the template, you can actually go to this um, side panel here, press on templates, type in Bitmoji again, and change your template. Sometimes when you hover over certain templates, you can actually see a slideshow, which means these templates have more than one page. So here we can see that this template has two pages. You can choose to apply both pages, or you can actually go ahead and add a new page into your file and click on any of the template pages that you'd like to insert into your file. So I'd like to use this one. And that actually places it into your own file. So this is a page filled with fun graphics that you can use inside of your own virtual room. So let's say that you'd like to replace um, some elements. So I'm actually going to delete this one here. And instead of um, that store, we'll just use this new one. You can just copy and paste that in. So you need to do a keyboard shortcut for that. Or you can actually drag these elements in. The issue with dragging it is that it actually takes away the element from the original position and moves it. So I do like to just copy that in. Now let's go ahead and place our Bitmoji into the virtual room. Just go to the Bitmoji Chrome extension there. If you type pose, you're able to find a couple of images where the Bitmoji is standing up full length. So you can go and copy and paste that into your Bitmoji room. You might need to position this forward. So we'll go to the front, all right? And you can move that around as well. You can also choose to flip horizontally so that your Bitmoji has um, changed the, its appearance. Okay. Let's go ahead and now create a Bitmoji virtual room from scratch. Let's go to add new page. We'll just go ahead and delete that background. We'll need to find our own background. So let's type in to photos, wall and floor. And you can just click one that you like. You will need to just um, make this a little bit larger. Need to just add a bit more to this side. Okay. And once you're happy with that, you can start to add more elements into your page. So let's go to elements and we'll go and find a board. Okay, and you can see here on the top left corner that you can change the color of certain parts of the board. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to add some text. So I'm just going to say welcome. You can just change also the font of the text. Okay, you can place it in the center. So here we can see this dotted line in the center, which means that you've aligned it with the other element there. And we can change the color. You can even go and put some effects in there as well. So here I've just added an effect. Well, let's add also some instructions so that we can add some hyperlinks into here. I'm actually going to do a left align. I'm just going to write number one, quiz yourself. And change the font again. And the color. And let's go and highlight that text. And on the top right corner, there's a button called link, which allows you to hyperlink the text. So I'm just going to write a website in here. We'll just write maybe quiz is or quizlet, one of the quiz websites. Let's apply that in. And you can see that we've now underlined our text, which means it's hyperlinked. Okay. You can also choose to group your elements. So there's a couple ways to do this. You can select and then group like this, or you can just press one element, hold down the shift and click on other elements and then group them. What this does, it allows you to just now move all the elements at one time. Okay. And let's go and grab our Bitmoji again. Just going to choose this bitmoji here that's pointing. I think I used the keyword there, point. And I'll paste that in. Let's see if there are any of these template elements that I'd like to use. So let's go for this chair here. Paste that in. You can actually go and change the color. And I'm actually going to flip this. Place it over here, position it to the back. Okay, you can make your bitmoji a little bit larger. I'm just going to go back again, grab this board, place it inside of my new page here. Okay, and of course, you can change the color if you'd like. I'm going to add table. And just resize that as well. Okay. And I'm going to add some science elements into my page. Science, that's fine. Okay. So this element here, let's put it into my image. And sometimes you just need to scroll through the elements to search for what you want. So I want to look for some moving images. So here I've got some graphics that are moving. I'd like to just add these in. And we'll just place them on the table. I'll just close that for a moment and these will actually show up on the website as well as moving which is quite nice let's add some stuff into the clipboard so here is a post-it note you can resize it and you can also change the color of the note so let's have a bright yellow color here Another thing that I'd like to do is also add some real life photos into the virtual classroom. So I'm actually just going to first grab a frame, which is in elements. Press see all for frames. I'm going to grab one that looks like a poster. You can change the outline color as well, just change it to black. 
And now I'm going to go into photos and actually search for a SpaceX photo. This one's quite nice. Scale it down and just put it into the poster. So it just um, automatically aligns the image into the photo frame. Okay. The best Bitmoji virtual rooms that I've seen um, take a lot of care in terms of attention to detail. So now it's just about decorating the room. So let's go ahead and add maybe a rug and a coffee table. So first is the rug. You can just click that. Might need to position it backward. Okay, and coffee table. You can have your laptop on your coffee table, your phone, and other things. Laptop. We'll flip this. You can change the color of the laptop if you like. And I'm also going to add a backpack. Nice. Got to just flip this as well and maybe just move it towards the back. Okay, and let's just check how that looks. Let's go ahead and add a plant. And there's just an amazing selection of free graphics that you can use for your virtual room. So I'm just going to add also a little teacup. Okay, and we'll just close that up. Now we're ready to share our virtual room. Just go into this arrow here on the top right corner and we'll just press it. There are so many ways that you can go ahead and share this. You can just share a link. You can download it as a PDF, which keeps all of the hyperlinks still there. Or you can choose to use some of Canva's newer features, such as present and record, or use the website feature as well. I'm just going to show you now present and record. This acts kind of like a screencast where teachers are able to film themselves within their virtual room, just speaking in the bottom um, left corner so they can just talk through the instructions of how to use the Bitmoji Classroom and then share that with students. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like in the recording studio. Let's start the recording. Here you can see I'm in the bottom left corner and I'm able just to flick through my pages within the file and talk through anything that I'd like to mention as well. You can then go ahead and end the recording and share this link with students. Here is the link. You can just copy that link and share it. I'm just going to discard this recording and show you how to share via a website. Now let's go into the top right corner here and go to website. There are a few web styles to choose from. I'll just first move my face here and show you that there are four web style options. The first is presentation. Let's go ahead and open this website and we'll take a look at what this looks like. You will just have these arrows which allow you to flick through the slides and students will be able to click on any of these hyperlinks. Okay, you can see that the graphics that move will move as well in the website. The next web style is scrolling. 
Okay, so we'll just be able to scroll through the website and of course the links work as well. We then have classic navigation. For classic navigation, you do need to change the page titles up here. Agenda. These are graphics. And this one is tasks, something like that. So let's do that one more time. We'll go to website, classic navigation. This kind of looks like Google Sites where you will have a nav bar in the top right corner here, which allows um, people to navigate your pages and um, use any of the hyperlinks. Okay. The last web style is standard. So we'll just open this as a website. And this um, format also has the nav bar, but it also has the scroll option as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you got some ideas on how you can use Canva to create your own Bitmoji virtual room and share it with students and parents. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Class Notes for more videos like this in the future. Until next week, see you later and have a good day. Bye.